What's up guys, Joe Cohen 9 for today, and to be showing you guys how to season, seal, care for your cast iron skillets. Doesn't matter what kind of cast iron skillet it is, it can be one of the griddle pans, it could be a Dutch oven, it could be a 12 inch, 10 inch, 5 inch. Doesn't matter, as long as it's bare cast iron like this, that's all you need to have. You also need obviously a stove and an oven, which I preheat mine to 350 degrees, so do that first because that's going to take about 10 15 minutes depending on your oven. You'll need some of this stuff. Uh, you could use canola oil. You can use vegetable oil, you can use really whatever you want, but this stuff I found works the best for me. Um, one of my problems I used to have with cast iron is it would just smoke like crazy no matter what I did. I found that this stuff helps that and it also makes the seasoning just, it feels better. It's a lot smoother. Um, but yeah, it's like 10 bucks. You guys can get it like runnings um, or camping stores. You can get it online on Amazon for like $10. It's cheap stuff. But yeah, guys, that and you'll need a old t-shirt, rag, something like that. Uh, definitely use something like this, not paper towels, and we'll explain why in a little bit. But yeah, guys, once that's done preheating, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, so my oven hit 350, so what I did is I just turned my burner on about 10 seconds ago to high. We're going to let this get warm. You can see it's starting to glisten because it's starting to get hot already. Um, and you want it to basically feel the heat around here in the handle. As soon as you can feel that, turn your burner off, and we'll start applying our uh, cast iron seasoning. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, this is what I mean about cast iron holding heat. So I actually took this off, turned the burner off and took it off and put it on that burner for a couple minutes while I went and did something and the handle's warm now. So we're right where we want to be. So all you're gonna do is take a little bit of this stuff and it's kind of like an oil uh, consistency and we're gonna put a little bit of our rag and then put it down there. So just give me one second. See, that's what I mean by a little bit more. Again, we're just going to rub that all over the bottom and sides. Flip it back over, make sure we got everything. It looks good. Then you're going to want to take the oven, open it up, flip this upside down. Set it there, it doesn't matter where the rack is. And you can do like three or four skills at a time if your oven can fit it. And basically all I have to do is leave that in there for an hour. So we're tether, set our timer. My power went out last night randomly, so. 60 minutes. When that goes off, you're gonna just turn off your oven and leave the skill in there until it cools, and that's it. And again, if it's a new skill, you might have to do that three to five times. I usually do it four to five times when I get a new one. Um, and I do this on them every once in a while, like every month or two, depending on how much I cook with them, which I use my cast iron a lot because I really like it. But yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in an hour. Okay, so timer is off. We'll turn off the oven. And I'll give you guys a little peek what the skillet looks like. As you can, damn, it's hot. As you can see, it's nice and shiny. And we'll basically, like I said, just leave that in there to cool. All right, guys, so it's now 2.30, and as you can see there, the pan's nice and shiny and pretty. And basically now it's just, just it's ready to cook with. Here's my other one. Um, let me turn on the light so you guys can see a little better. There's the one I just did. This is one I cooked those uh, eggs and stuff in. Basically, one more tip, when you're done cooking, what I do is I wash just in warm water, no soap ever, obviously. Then I... Uh, Turn the burner, burner on, get it warm in the handle again, and I'd supply a little, very light coat of that, uh, the seasoning stuff I showed you guys earlier, and then I, uh, just let it cool on the rack, or on the, uh, oven. This one's done, it's gonna cook up some burgers later, and, uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next time, Joy Kong 94 out.